Papa Pepper here with another episode of The Wild Man's Wild Friends. This one is one that I didn't meet until I moved down to Arkansas either. It's a pygmy rattlesnake, uh, Cistruus miliarius. It is a pit viper, so on its head there's going to be some pits. It's going to have the cat-like eyes, and it's also going to have some pretty big fangs in there. Now, they can't produce a lot of venom, so it's unlikely that they would uh, you know, be fatal to an adult, but there can definitely be some issues with children. Now these guys are a small rattlesnake. They only get up to about two feet, although larger ones have been, uh, you know, held captive for many years, and then they got bigger. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. Um, I found three last year, and this is the first one of the year here. A neighbor boy was weed whacking and said, "Hey, there's a snake!" So of course I quickly came running over to take care of this, take care of it, and it's really fat. I don't know if it had a, a good meal recently or if it's going to be uh, giving birth soon. I'm not sure. Now, they live across the southeastern United States. Um, I've only found them in Arkansas, but there are other places like Florida and stuff. They, um, their habitat's generally going to be forests, marshes, um, floodplains, stuff like that. We find a lot around just some rocky areas. Um, most of the ones actually by some landscaping that uh, is right by some of the houses here. Um, they will burrow, but they don't dig their own. They'll take over ones that other, um, like rodents or something else, had, uh, had taken care of. Now they're rattles. I don't know if you can see that. They're very tiny. So they're very hard to hear. It's unlikely that you're going to hear it rattling and you don't know that it's there unless it uh, happens to be vibrating on some leaves or something too. Um, so, what do these guys eat? They mostly eat things like um, rodents, um, lizards, frogs. They'll eat other snakes. Um, this one may have eaten another snake, I'm not sure. Now I haven't had a problem with these yet. The ones I found last year I relocated. Like I said, this was the biggest one. So he's pretty uh, pretty cool. And uh, let me see if I can get a better shot of his fangs here for you. If you just open up that mouth. I'm not sure. Not really putting them down right now. So, oh, there they go. A little bit of fang action. Don't know how well you guys can see that. But either way, not really something to mess with. Um, I only really catch them to move them, keep the snakes alive, and uh, keep the people safe. So, not sure if you can see that right now. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Yeah, maybe not. There you go. A little fang action. But an absolutely beautiful snake. You can tell from the camouflage. I mean, depending on the environment, it's going to be hard to spot. Um, they'll sun themselves sometimes just sitting out in the day. This guy actually was just sitting there, coiled up, uh, just in a coil. And I actually walked up and without even using a stick or something to hold its head still, I just grabbed it right by the neck. Um, it was that kind of still. I wouldn't recommend anyone doing that, but, you know, it is what I did. So. Just another one of the wild man's wild friends. Pop out. Steam on.